guys, thanks for checking out this brand new guitar tutorial. In this one, we're going to be looking at how you play Butterfly Fly Away by Miley Cyrus on the acoustic guitar. Uh, this is a recommendation by somebody that follows us, and uh, this tutorial is because she requested it, so here it is. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Got loads of videos in the back catalogue and loads of videos coming out very soon. Right, let's dive in and see how we play this song. So here we are, zoomed into the sound hole and the neck of the guitar. We need a capo across the fourth fret, and it's all in standard tuning. First of all, you need to know that your guitar is in tune, so make sure that your guitar is in tune and put your capo across the fourth fret. And we're going to look at those first couple of chords. Now, I'm going to talk about the plucking and the fingering as I go. So the first chord is this sort of C shape with a G in the on that E string. So first finger, and I'm going to talk about the frets as if that is the top of the neck. So it's two up. So second fret and the fourth string. We've got our second finger on the third fret of the fifth string, third finger on the third fret of the second string, and then our pinky finger tucked underneath on that third fret of the first string. Now, We'll talk about the plucking. Make sure that that chords ring out. That rings out really nice and nice and clear. So we're going to go. We're going to go five, four, one, two. And then next time we're going to go five, three, one, two. But the second shape, you're taking your first finger off and your second finger off, and then you're moving your first finger onto that second fret of that fifth string. And then we're gonna leave our third and pinky finger on where they are, take everything off, open A, open fifth string. Five, three, one, two. And then we're going to put our first finger back on that second fret, fifth string. So all together we should have. Again, if that, those chords aren't ringing out properly, you're probably not pressing your fingers hard enough or you might not be in the center of those frets. It's really difficult when you're first starting out to make those chords sound really clear because you're just getting used to how much pressure that you put on, your, um, on, on the strings. As you develop um, your playing, you'll get a bit of hard skin develop around your, um, your fingertips and that make it easier if you're struggling a little bit. So those are the first couple of uh, chords that we're going to need to know in the finger picking pattern. And then we've got our chorus section. So to go into the chorus, it goes to a D major just before the chorus, so the end of the bridge or the end of the verse, if you like, for the fourth time around. So that D major is first finger, second fret, third string, second finger, first fret, second, uh, sorry, second finger, uh, second fret, first string, Beg your pardon, and then a third finger on the third fret of the second string. And that's the transition from. And then our chorus section. So this is our chorus. G major with a F sharp, sharp in the roof, in the root, not the roof, the root, and an E minor, and then we've got an A major. So C major, A major to the D.
back to that start. Let's have a quick look at that plucking in a little bit more detail. So we have got five, four, one, two. And then we've got five, three, one, two. And then five, three, one, two again. And then five, three, one, two again. And then five, four, one of the questions I get asked a lot is why are my chords not ringing out why do they not sound like yours well simply this is to do with the fact that sometimes people aren't pressing uh, hard enough on the on the frets, they're not press, pressing in the center or playing in the center, and sometimes their hand position might be muffling other strings, so the other strings get um, dampened. What you've got to make sure is that you're pressing nice and hard on those strings in the center of the fret, and that you're confidently placing your fingers where they, they need to be. If you're slightly off center or over that actual fret, the metal bit, it is gonna sound muffled, so make sure that you concentrate and look at playing those strings, playing those notes dead center into, on, on, that, um, on those threat, frets, because that's really, really important to make sure that those chords ring out.